So there are some new leagues coming to FIFA 19 and today I'm going to be kind of like um, formulating some ideas of what they could be of compiled for and let's have a little talk about them. So our first one is a Brasilia Rao, also known as a Serie A of Brazil, also like Italy. So this is the biggest league in the whole of the Americas, that's North America and South America and Central America, so it's bigger than the MLS, bigger than the Mexican League MX, bigger than the Argentinian leagues, all of that. They're the biggest uh, league with almost £1 billion pounds of market value so that is every single player what their market va value is at the moment so they have 842.7 million which is bigger than the Eredivisie which is obviously the Netherlands league and this means that I mean I don't get why they're not in the game I don't know if someone else has a license in or they just can't get the license in but they do have most of the teams they don't have obviously the official Brazil Aral or Serie A league um, license, but they do have some of the teams. But all the players that would play for the teams are generic. They have none on Ultimate Team, they have none on Career Mode, they're all just generic players, which is very, very strange in my opinion. And I just don't really understand, to be honest, because this could be a massive, massive benefit to a lot of people, because obviously Brazil is a massive country with a lot of people living there. And... I don't know, it just make Brazilian people more likely to buy the game than Pez, I suppose, maybe. But it's a great league. A lot of good players, as you can see by the players I've included there. Luan is a great player. He's linked to a lot of Brazilian clubs. Diego Alves um, is obviously a big player also. And it's just, it's just a bit strange why they're not, to be honest. And I really do hope this is in next year, as it can bring kind of a different... A different perspective on the South American game. So the next one is a Chinese Super League and this was tipped to go into FIFA 18 and FIFA 17 as well when the Chinese Super League was first up and coming with all getting all these new valuable European and South American players. So it needs to be licensed because there are so many amazing players that are just moved to China for the money and are not in Ultimate Team anymore like Yannick Carrasco, Hulk, Oscar, um, uh, what's that, Bakambu as well. Um, and they all just play for Chinese clubs and they're not in the game anymore. Um, obviously, Bakambu, and I th Bakambu, I think, transferred this year and he's still on the game. But he transferred in January, I think. But obviously, these players are earning mega bucks. And it just would be amazing to put in another Asian league because they are lacking in Asian leagues. Um, I think the only few they've got is Japan, South Korea, and Saudi Arabia, and Australia. And obviously, the amount of Asian leagues and the amount of good Asian leagues with good South American and European uh players is 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 just extensive and they just need it is the biggest league in asia obviously with the most amount of players and the biggest following there are a lot of chinese fans a hell of a lot of chinese fans if you watch any highlights on youtube anything like that all the fans are so passionate for the game and it's a bit strange because they're obviously not their national sport i think it's table tennis but yeah um football is a growing sport there and obviously the president is trying to trying to trying to get a lot of new players in so they can promote the game so the Ukrainian League would be a good addition into the game because obviously with the new Champions League and Europa League um, additions, they will need to have a lot more licensing for other Braz other European teams like the Kazakhstani teams, um, the Ukrainian teams, the Belarus teams, all teams like that that go into the Europa League mostly and sometimes even the Champions League, like even Israeli teams as well. Um, a lot of talent has come from the Ukrainian leagues. A lot of Brazilian players dominate the uh, dominate the Shakhtar Donetsk team. Um, they are obviously like the Celtic of Ukraine, with them dominating the league, dominating the transfer um, transfer accumulations and all that. So players that have come from there are Yaya Toure, Willian, Douglas Costa, Fred and Yarmolenko, who recently transferred to Borussia Dortmund. But... Ukrainian League is an obscure one, but definitely deserves to be in it if other leagues like the Swiss League and the Austrian League are in it as well. So the last one I've got is the Greek League. This is a massive league, obviously, in that sort of area. And dominates, like, the Baltic. Is it, is it, is it Baltic? I'm pretty sure it's Baltic, all those countries in, like, kind of Southeast Europe. Um, Greek, Greek fans are absolutely amazing. If you see, obviously, like the Chinese League, if you see loads of highlights on YouTube. They are amazing fans and uh, obviously there was a bit of news from AEK Athens that the club president came down with a holstered gun on the pitch. Don't know what he was going to do with it but he came down with a holstered gun and um, threatened the referee after he took back a decision. But um, some of the Greek league has been licensed obviously with Olympiakos, Panathinaikos, 
AK Athens and I think what's the other one? Uh, don't know. AK Athens and AIK. Is it AIK? I think so. But a lot of a lot of the no, well not a lot, but a lot of the great players that are in that league are um, are playing for the top four teams. And they always make an appearance in um, in Europe, so they definitely will be in the game next year. Just. If I hope that the um, hope that the rest of the Greek league teams and they get the official Greek um, league kind of like licensing for the um, the Greek Super League, that would be amazing. And just new leagues in the game can never ever be wrong as well. So obviously that is quite a valuable league as well. Um, I'm not sure how much it is. I think it's about 150 million market value, but definitely deserves to be in. And some new stadiums would be amazing for that league as well. So finally, the Serie A and maybe the second division of Italian football are being added into the game. Serie A is confirmed as getting their licensing back. So no more of Calcio A, which was a bit pikey, to be honest, as they couldn't get their licensing. But hopefully, what it was Calcio B, but I'm not sure it's called Calcio B or even Serie B. It's just, I think it's just called something something weird. But all, those, all the players in the Serie B, I'm going to call it the Serie B just for... Just for reasons that I don't have to pronounce the whole thing, the whole all of the players in that league are licensed, but none of the teams are. They've all got their little fake badges. I think the only one that wasn't was um, I think it was Palmer, and when they were in it, um, I'm not sure. I think it was definitely that, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Serie A and Serie B are going to be in the game, fully licensed next year, which would be, would be amazing because it has been a hell of a long time since we've had the second division of Italian football with all the nice badges and all the nice uh, league badges as well. So thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're new around here. I've only just started uploading more because I've finished my exams. So new videos to come across the summer and I'm definitely going to be uploading more FIFA 19 videos.